Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. We're going to walk you through exactly how to make your awesome opt-in free inside your Squarespace shop. And what this will do for you is really open the doors for increasing your list. So you know your list is really important. You know it can unlock some doors for you in your business. But what's a really, really easy way to let people sign up for your list and give them something free right away? So um, what you have on your screen right now is our shop. It, you can view it yourself at thinkcreativecollective.com slash shop. You'll notice we have several free items in the shop as well as some paid items. Now, the key with these free items is that when someone checks out, they're immediately added to our master list. So they'll get our Sunday emails, they'll learn about our free webinars, they'll get all the inside information that all our other list members get. And all they had to do was check out on the completely free shop. So how do you do this? Um, well, first of all, let me show you what the end goal is. The end goal is to get something similar to this. We're gonna have an item listed in your shop for free and someone can just click to add it now it's in their cart and they can check out they won't ask for credit card information because it's unnecessary because the total is zero um, but you'll get their email address so how do we get started first of all let's walk through making sure your people will automatically be added when they check out. So this will go for both paid items as well as free items in your shop. You'll need to go into settings. Now, depending on the type of account you have inside Squarespace, this menu may look a little bit different. If you're, um, if you're paying for a commerce account, um, commerce may be at the top. You may have some more options than I do. We're in the middle grade right now. I think we'll have to upgrade soon because we're running out of space and we need more shop options. So you want to go first into settings and then go down to this commerce tab and hit check out. So you'll notice that our store is live, which is great. Um, you can enable orders. So we have connected with Stripe so that someone could pay us if they have a paid item. And then you'll scroll down here, you'll notice there's a newsletter section. So what you need to do is you need to enable mailing list option by default. So when someone checks out, they will automatically be added to whatever list you have selected here. So if this is not turned on, what it'll look like is kind of a grayed out box and you'll just need to sign into your MailChimp account. And then once that happens, you'll see all your lists and you can pick which one you want them to automatically be added to. So we have them automatically updated to our weekly update subscriber list, which is our master list. Um, so you'll want to turn that on first. So now that they're connected, anyone who checks out, regardless if they pay or they get a free item, it will automatically be added to that list. So there's no extra steps involved for you. So what's up next? We're going to, if you're not already logged into your Squarespace account, you'll need to do that. Um, you'll see the normal list of items here. We're going to go into the Pages tab. So if you want this listed in your main navigation, you can add your page here. I do not for this example, so I'm going to have a non-linked page. Um, you click that. Go ahead and add a Products page. So I'm just gonna call it shop for the sake of this example. You can call it whatever you want. Now all of a sudden I am prompted to immediately add products to my shop, which is really exciting. So I'm gonna go up here to the plus sign, add a product. So for these free items, the easiest, fastest way for you to make this work is make it a digital download. So they're gonna get a PDF delivered straight to their email and it's gonna last for 24 hours. So they're prompted to download it immediately. So you'll hit digital. Now this will pop up and you're gonna be prompted with a few things. So you're gonna need an image. 
Um, so I suggest you have that ready in advance. I have mine sitting on my desktop, so I'm gonna grab that really quick. Um, that's uploading. Okay, so what am I gonna call it? So make it really obvious, make it exactly what it is. So this is the blog boost weekly. Um, I'm gonna leave my price at zero because I want them to just be able to opt into my list. Um, I already have, uh, sorry, I am failing. I already have the item set up. So I'm just gonna copy my description. Um, but if you have it set up in Word, you can do exactly the same thing. So you just want a brief description. Now keep in mind, these descriptions um, are what make it SEO friendly. So tell people what they get, how they can use this worksheet, why it's super awesome, exactly why they need it. Okay, so just a few more things. We're gonna go into pricing. Um, you'll notice the price is zero dollars. We're gonna leave that alone. We need to go ahead and add the file they're gonna get. So this is the PDF. So click the arrow button. I'm going to hit the PDF. Um, now that is connected, so they're automatically gonna get it. So what happens is after they check out, an email will automatically go directly to them, you don't have to do anything, and it's gonna show up in their inbox and they can download this PDF. Um, so we're just gonna scroll through these so you know what, they're, what they are. Um, this is for a much longer description. You can skip it for the sake of this example. Um, perhaps you really needed more information from that person besides their email address. You can require a form. Um, it, you don't have to do it for everything, but it can be an awesome option for you. Um, if you perhaps it's an inquiry uh, for your service, you can have them fill out a brief survey. But generally, for this free option, I suggest not doing extra information. Um, you want them to check out as smoothly and as quickly as possible, and if there's more steps, they're more likely to say no. Um, but So we'll skip that for now. Um, you can change the thumbnail image. for If for some reason the image you added in the beginning, you want it to be different um, when there's someone that's previewing your shop, you can change that as well. You can also make your product featured. Um, that will allow it to be pulled in on other blocks elsewhere. Um, we're not gonna do that today. And social, you can make it so that when you add new products to your shop, they're auto-tweeted, auto-put on Facebook. I personally don't like to do that because what if I mess up and I don't like how it looks or I'm not ready yet? I don't want people to know what's out there until I'm ready to know what's out there. So um, I skip that step. So we are ready. So all you have to do is hit save and publish. And now your item is totally free inside your shop. So what does that look like? Um, you can hit this little arrow over here to preview it. Look, so you now have a shop page and this free item. So what does that look like? I'm gonna copy this URL just real quick so you can see the real thing and go to shop one. I already have a shop, so that's why it's showing up a little odd. Um, so this is what it will automatically look like inside Squarespace. You'll notice that it's $0. Someone can click on it to get more information. And it has this awesome description. They can add it to their cart they can go and check out. Um, so you'll notice they're set up exactly the same way. They look exactly the same way. So when they check out, they will be asked for their email and they will be prompted to join your mailing list. So that is a super awesome way to get people on your list. So for more awesome details on why your list is super important and for other free ways to get freebies to your client or customer, make sure you head to thinkcreativecollective.com slash blog. We have a lot of awesome information out there. So I hope you come back soon. Talk to you soon.